and welcome to episode 116 of the Stress Knits podcast. My name is Stacy, also known as Stress Knits Yarn on Instagram and Stress Knits on Ravelry. Everything will be linked in the description box below. That is where I put show notes. Um, I'm coming to you. What is today? I just looked. Um, May 22nd. <laughs> It is a Friday, and it is muggy and rainy in Metro Detroit, Michigan, where I live with my husband, Doug, our daughter, Eliza, and our pug, Esther. Yes, this is a knitting hand-dyed yarn podcast where I just talk to you about what I am making, what I'm excited about. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... <laughs> I've tried to record this episode at least three times, but I was either really distracted, really grumpy, kind of cranky, I don't know, it just, it wasn't going well. I don't know about you, but last week was rough, or <laughs> this past week, I mean, we're still in it. I don't know, there was just something about it, um, nothing was going right, I had... A very long dye day because everything had to be dyed multiple times because colors weren't coming out correctly and I don't know everything was just very stressful Eliza was not having any of it and yeah it's just been stressful Doug's going into work more now which bums me out and makes me a little nervous <sighs> But it is what it is. They just bought a building for their company, and it's really exciting. Yeah, and he's only around his partner friend, Jesse, um, who has also been very strict about quarantine, so that makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah, that's, that's our life right now. So he's currently in Detroit. Um, I think they're putting together some furniture that they got, and I don't know, I don't know what they're doing, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I have been struck with a little bit of inspiration color-wise, and I've cast on two new projects, and I have some progress to show you on others, and one I can't show you, so let's get into the knitting, because that's why we're here. Um, first things first, I finished something. I have a pair of socks done. Um, this is my hand dyed yarn. So stress knits yarn on my favorite base, which is an 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon fingering weight yarn. It's high twist. It's beautiful. I love it. That's why it's called favorite. And this is my SSDGM colorway, which is based off of my favorite murder. It's just a beautiful light grayish blue with a bunch of different speckles. I don't know. My phone. Let me give you my phone saga really quick. So in January, when I went to New York, a dude bumped into me on the street and I dropped my phone and it the front screen shattered. I shattered the back of the phone like a year and a half ago. I had this phone for about three years now. So like it's going pretty well, right? But I've had this cracked screen since January and now my phone, the battery is draining really fast. Um, a bunch of updates aren't working, like it's just not going well and it's not like we, I mean we could go get new phones, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Might do it online. It's just, it's very stressful and I've gotten to the point where I don't really notice the cracks in the screen anymore. And it, I mean, it's, it's pretty hefty. There are some chunks missing. <laughs> it's bad. Um... Yes, so that's the phone saga. So one of my updates was like, you need this updated and carrier settings and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, that's why that cut out. I hope the video is fine. Anyway, I finished this pair of socks 
and I love them. It's my vanilla sock recipe, um, which is, I think, pretty universal. <laughs> it's um, 64 stitches cast on, a US 1, which is a 2.25 millimeter needle, um, 2 by 2 ribbing for 20 rounds up top. I knit the leg however long I feel like it. Somebody closed the car door. It was very loud. I don't know if it's Doug. I don't know. Yes, I knit the leg for however long I want, and then I do a heel flap and gusset. Fits my foot the best. I have a relatively high arch, so that's why I do that one. And then um, just a regular old foot and a wedge toe. Simple, it's mindless. I'm really glad I'm knitting socks again. And I've mentioned this before, but a lot of my socks that I've knit since I've been knitting <laughs> don't fit anymore because my feet grew half a size with Eliza, which is both good and bad because I had to get all new shoes, which is frustrating and like my socks don't fit, but I can find more shoes. I have more options because I'm in the five and a half, six range instead of the five, five and a half range. And if you have small feet, you know the struggle. It is hard and everyone's always like, oh, but you can buy kids shoes. Kids shoes sometimes just look like kids shoes and it's just not great. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm on such a tangent. Um, yeah, but I am creating a new sock drawer and so this is pair number two technically three but one of them is in my christmas box of socks so yes ssdgm on favorite there are those the next thing that i'm working on if you're curious this is a bento bag from fringe supply company i'm really embracing the mustard yellow i think this is the large size it fits a sweater for me perfectly um but here's the sweater. So this is my Pink Velvet by Andrea Mowry. And I'm, I'm obsessed. So I um, separated for the sleeves. That's where I'm at. I haven't even knit a row past that because I had to cake up my second skein so I could alternate skeins in the round. But here it is and all of her beautiful glory. I am using Stress Knits Yarn Single, which is the main yarn. It is a single ply uh, fingering weight yarn. This is the Dahlia colorway. That's exactly what it looks like. It's just, it's beautiful. I can't tell if Doug's home. All of the windows are open, so everything's a little bit louder. Um, so yes, Dahlia. I love this colorway. Exactly what it looks like. I'm really excited to finally have a full sweater out of it. I've used it as um, contrast colors or accent colors in other projects, but finally it's like shining. And then the contrast, I already put it in my scraps basket, is palm lines on my cloud base, which is Surrey Alpaca in Silk. And I love it. It's just a very pale, barely there pink. And I really love the way that this looks. I'm really excited to knit and to finish knitting this and to wear it in the fall. So I am knitting the size 44. Yes, 44. I think it's the size four. Yeah. And um, that is going to give me zero inches of ease. So we'll see how it goes. It's kind of an experiment. I'm trying to be more open-minded about the fit of things. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. Because usually my go-to is like six to ten inches of positive ease. I'm just trying something new. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited about it. So that is Pink Velvet by Andrea Mowry. 
now let's get into the new things that I've cast on because it's what I'm the most excited about. So first let's talk about socks. So the lovely Emma of Emma Janet Knits on Instagram, I'll put her Instagram handle in the down bar. Um, she created, designed a sock pattern using my Mountain Mama colorway. Mountain Mama is, you can actually see it, it's this one right here. Um, it is a dark, dark foresty green and it's based off of West Virginia, which is where I lived for four years when I was in college. It's also the state my mom's from, where my parents met. Um, yes, yeah, so that's why it's called Mountain Mama from the song Country Roads. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so she designed a pair of socks in the Mountain Mama colorway with um, two contrast colors. And I am test knitting. Super excited about it. So here, here it is. So I purposefully chose different colors than she did because I'm making sock kits um, out of my yarn for people if they want to use them. <sighs> yes, so this is my color combination. I don't, I don't know how to fix this. So when I'm catching floats, it shows through. I don't know. I'm not the most prolific color work knitter and it really doesn't bother me. I'm just curious if I can do something different. I don't know. Um, but you start off with your two contrast colors and then the there are two different mountain motifs. And so the first one is your contrast color. Oh my gosh, I'm not even talking. <laughs> oh, maybe this episode is just never supposed to happen, but I'm going to put it up because this is just what my life is right now. <laughs> um, so you start off with your contrast color, and then you add your second contrast color, and then with the second mountain range, you add your third, your main color. So, um, it is two 20 gram minis plus a full skein of yarn to knit this pattern. Um, so this is where I'm at. I am about to finish the first motif and then join in the main color, which I'm really excited about. So for these socks, I am using Pillow Mint as the first contrast color a new colorway called Sunflower as my second contrast, and then Eloise as my main color. So, yes, so this is my, my version. So I might have made a mistake. <laughs> um, so you use pretty much all 20 grams of the color you start with with the cuff, and I decided to knit a little bit more of a cuff like I always do with the 20 rounds of two by two instead of 15-ish that I would need to get to the length that she, that I'm gonna put into the pattern. So I might be running a little light on this, but if you get the kit, you just follow the directions like a smart person. I just prefer a 20, um, 20 round cuff. That's why I did that. I can always dye up an extra one for myself, which is always nice. Um, yes, it is a little fiddly because you are, at least for me, because I'm not super prolific at color work, like I said. It's not, I've knit quite a few things in color work, but I'm not very good at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and sometimes it's hard to manage yarn for me, especially when there are longer floats and there are longer floats in here. Like you can tell because I mean, you have one here and one here and all that is a float, but you catch it in the middle, which is good. Um, yeah, so that was my only like struggle with this pattern. Otherwise it's amazing. Like I have plenty of room here to put it on my foot. 
I'm doing the medium size, which is 64 stitches. I didn't even go up a needle size or anything. I'm just being very diligent in how loose I'm carrying the yarn. Um, I tried it on my foot. I can get it over, which is really exciting. I don't know. I just, I love these. They come out in June, mid-June. Um, we have to be done with this at least one sock by the 10th, I believe. So plenty of time to knit. Um, sorry, I'm itching my nose. Allergies. It's bad this time of year. Uh, yeah, so mid-June is when these will be coming out and also when my sock kits will be coming out. So that is the sock I'm currently working on. I'm also working on my Eliza colorway socks, but I can't show you those. So now for the main event, I cast something on, on a whim. And uh, I have never been more proud or in love with a project in my entire life. And I owe part of that to Laura, who is Tiny Human Knits. She has an amazing yarn company. She does beautiful self-striping yarn. Um, but she's just also an amazing knitter. And she comes up with the most beautiful color palettes. And I don't know, she has very similar taste with colors to me, which I always love. And she knit the Throw Over Sweater by Andrea Mowry in a mustard with some mints and I think some creams, maybe a pink. And that, she posted the picture of it. She also knit it in like two days. Um, so she posted a picture of it and I went, oh, that's my color combination. That's what I'm doing. Um, so I dyed up. I've had worsted on hand because I knew I wanted to knit the sweater. I was originally thinking Mountain Mama as the main color, but I couldn't figure out what I wanted for the color work yoke. But when I, when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have wanted a deeper mustard goldy yellow in my lineup for a while. So I'm going to try to dye it. And if it works, I'm going to dye up a sweater quantity and cast on the throw over exactly what I did. So I'm gonna take off my stitch marker first because this is a part of stash enhancement. I actually forgot to get all my stash enhancement down that's up there. <laughs> um, so I'm only going to show you the stitch markers that I got. These are from Hello Lavender, who I'm doing collaborations with and I'm so excited about. Um, she had a vintage floral update and I was just obsessed with them. So I bought two sets. Don't mind my fingernails, they're still a little gross from dying, but this is the main marker that I am using on my throw over to mark the beginning of the round. And they came with, um, both of the main stitch markers came with um, flower um, contrast markers, or I forget what she calls them. But the other main marker that I got, which is just, I'm, I'm in love with, is this rainbow. So yes. So slight stash enhancement there, but um, I had to put this marker on this project because it just works so perfectly. Are you ready? I'm so in love with this. So here it is. So I could just hold it up like this. I, I'm in love. I am in love. I am in love. I am in love. So I'm through the first chart. I'm about to start the main color work chart, which is all of um, basically mountains again, right? Um, yeah, so I'm about to do that. I'm also going to go up a needle size for that chart because I, um, I know I'm going to be tighter when I knit that because I've knit the throwback, which is it's the exact same pattern, but it's the cardigan version. I actually tested that pattern for her two years ago, two years ago. Um, and by her, I mean Andrew Mowry. We all know I love, and she loved this, which made me so happy. Oh, I just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, and am I kind of pausing on it because <laughs> 
I ordered needles in order that are a big enough circumference so that I can do a um, color work yoke like flat picture. Yes. Um, but I'm going to start the color work today because it's what I really, really want to work on. It's the only thing I want to work on if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I'm, I'm in love. I'm so happy with the sweater and I'm actually writing a Patreon post about um, kind of letting myself fall in love with color, which is, it's really cool <laughs> that's it's happening and it's fun. Um, so if you're a Patreon, if you're a patron on Patreon, it's going to be available for all levels. It's a weekly update. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to share that with you. I'm currently writing it up and getting pictures for it. But yes. And if you want to be a patron, link is below. Anyway, shameless plugs. Um, yes, so I'm really excited about this. And I am knitting a size smaller than I would normally knit. So usually for Andrea's patterns, I'm a size 5 or I knit the size 5. Um, but I went up a needle size. And I was worried that going, I did a gauge swatch and I did all of that, but I didn't block it, which is the no-no, right? So I was bang on gauge with a US 9. It calls for a US 8, but again, I'm really tight at knitting right now. My gauge is super tight. And um, so I went up a needle size and I got gauge, which was very exciting for me. And then I didn't block it because I just really wanted to cast on. So I've decided to knit the 46 instead of the 50. And I think it's going to give me the exact result that I want. We'll see. Because 46 is 2 inches of positive ease. So again, I'm experimenting with less positive ease than I usually go for. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Um, I have my phone on airplane mode. Why am I getting notifications? <laughs> anyway, yes. So let's talk about the yarn. So this is Stress Knits Worsted. It is 100% Superwash Merino, 218 yards per skein. Um, yes, it's not currently in the shop because I usually... I usually don't it doesn't it's one of those that sells sometimes but not others but this is always a base you can custom order as long as it's three or more skeins um, so if you want this exact sweater just email me I even might put kits up I don't know yet we'll see how it goes um, yes yeah, so it's my worsted base that I love and the colorways, so the main color is my new colorway called Sunflower, and it's, I mean, that's exactly, that's exactly it. It's just, it's beautiful. So this is Sunflower, uh, it's just the perfect gold, golden yellow, and then the contrast colors are, excuse me, I was up very late last night skating yarn. <laughs> Um, so you go from palm lines to Eloise to pillow mint. So palm lines, Eloise, just my favorite pink, and pillow mint. So these are my contrast colors, and I'm really, really excited to do the larger motif. I will say, though, this has always been my favorite part of the sweater. I just, I love it. I love it so much. So yes, I am knitting this currently on a US 9, but I'm going up to a 10. So this is just going to fly. It's going to fly, fly, fly. I'm really excited about it. Yes, so Throw Over by Andrea Mowry. Can you tell how much I love this? I don't want to put it down. I'm really excited that I can work on it today because I got all of my work done. So speaking of work, let's, I think that's everything I've talked about. 
Yes, so let's talk about stress in its yard. If you are not interested, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to be. So I will see you next time. And if you are interest interested, <laughs> let's get into it. So first things first, I am having a very small, very small restock, um, including the release of Sunflower. Now, um, yeah, it's not going to be a lot because I just really haven't had time. Oh, uh, excuse me. I was up till three um, packing orders and then Eliza woke up kind of early. So I'm a little sleepy. I've only had one cup of coffee today, which is like three less than usual. Um, yes. So, yeah, I've been, um, I've been busy dying pre-orders and custom orders. So all of those are out of the, they're out the door. Doug is dropping them off at the post office, um, on his way back, which is really exciting. So all of those are out and I feel a little bit lighter. That was really weighing on me. I I love offering, oh, there's a really big spider. It's on, so there's a door in this, in this room to the outside, but it was painted over a little bit by my in-laws and it just, it's really hard to open and I've never seen this door open. Um, but there's an outside door, a gap, and then the door on the inside and the spider's up in the middle. It's really gross. Anyway, it's a big one. I like spiders from afar. I just don't like when they're near me. Uh, yes, but I feel lighter. I love doing pre-orders because that way people get what they want. And I get really stressed out when people um, are upset about not getting the yarn that they wanted. And I know it's going to happen. And it's just kind of a part of it because I'm one person. I dye yarn on two burners and it takes a long time. So I don't always have all of the yarn. And I know a lot of people understand that. It's just, it's very stressful pre-orders are just very stressful because anything can happen and I have your money and it's very, I don't know, it just makes me feel very stressed out. So I'm really glad that those are out the door. Um, yes, so everything is out. If you've had custom orders that's out, um, that they all, they're all shipping today. Custom orders and pre-orders, the only thing that isn't shipping for a while is advents. So speaking of advents, I am having the second round. It's going up June 1st at 7, oh my goodness, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, they're going to be up for at least 24 hours, probably more, but at least 24 hours. The only reason I say at least is because I don't want... Um, do you hear the geese? <laughs> I don't want too many slots to sell. And then I only have like 10 slots for the last round. I want to make sure there's enough for everybody that wants one, but I can only do as many as I'm doing, which is 200. Um, that is where I'm at. So... That's why if they're selling really, really, really quickly, I mean, I don't anticipate that, but if they are, I'm going to pull it after 24 hours. So that way, regardless of what time zone you're in, you can go in and purchase one when you wake up or when you think about it. Um, yes, so that way there will be enough for the July 6th update. Now, um, I can... I've, I've talked about it before, but I just want to remind you that I'm doing some collaborations this year. The first one is a Hello Lavender stitch marker. It is exclusive to us. It's going to be beautiful because everything Reshma does is absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait to see what she comes up with. So there's that. And there will also be a sock pattern by Huga Cannon, who is Kim. She's designed amazing socks. 
um, she keeps designing amazing socks and I've been really lucky to be a yarn dyer that she's used multiple times and so we are teaming up and she is designing a sock for us. I'm really excited about it. So that's what I can announce. There's one more that I'm hoping for but I'm not I'm not sure if it's happening. I don't know. Stay tuned. Um, yes. So that's what is in the advent. And then Eliza's shop update is June 14th through July 1st. Um, proceeds will be going to, I almost said, <laughs> March of Dimes. There are so many M charities. And my mind did not go to March of Dimes first. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, two dollars of every skein. There's going to be a different scale because I am going to be offering 50 gram skeins and minis um, by themselves for the first time ever in this update because I want people that want to participate in this too and to not be restricted to only buying a hundred gram skein of yarn if that's not in their budget. So that more will be coming out about that in June. I cannot wait to share the colorway with you. It's absolutely stunning. Like if I don't, if I do say so myself, like it's, it's beautiful. So I cannot wait to show you. I think that's it. I think that's everything that's happening. Yes. And also sock kits for Mountain Mama will be going up in June as well. I actually think they might be launching the same day as Eliza's update. So I'll keep you updated on that. Um, the sock kits, I'll just pull it out. So this is the original sock kit. So there is Mountain Mama, Dahlia, and Palm Lines. So it comes like this, it's all wrapped together, and yeah. There are five different kit options, and I'm dying up possibly one or two more, and I don't know, I'm just, I'm really loving these sock kits, and you don't have to use them for Mountain Mama socks, even though I think you should, because it's a beautiful sock pattern, but you can use them for heels, toes, and cuffs, or a shawl, or a hat, hair is everywhere. Um, Waiting for Henry Socks by Tabitha Gandy would also really work. So yeah, that is, that's my sock kit. I will show you more of them as we get closer to the release. So with that, I will talk to you next week. Um, if you are a patron, look out for some new Patreon content coming this weekend. I'm very, very excited about it. Yes, and I will see you next week. Bye!